what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um i don't know how long this video is going to go on but um this is just important stuff that i'm doing um i'm getting ready to launch a whole new product um a whole new um campaign i set up a whole new ad account and so all i'm doing is simply making sure that all my custom audiences are are set up um custom audience or audiences are super super important um, for the simple fact that you want to be knowing who lands on what page. Um, if I opt in, like for example, if I go to, um, like let's say for example, I bring people to this page over here, right? So I have my Facebook pixel tracking whoever lands here um, and that's up here the Facebook pixel, right? People who land here and actually view the page, that's one one particular audience, right? And then, what I can do is everyone who actually opts in and they end up putting in their name, they end up putting in their email and then they opt in. Um, in fact, you know what, let me just do a test. And let's just put, let's just put whatever, let's just put any, any email. So someone comes here and they opt in and they, and then they click on teach me Facebook ads this page that they land on this is the thank you page right it's great to connect with you check your emails and stay in touch i have a ton of value coming your way this is what you call a thank you page it could be whatever it could be a video it could say thank you it could be whatever right but this it's so so important that your facebook pixel is also tracking this page specifically and that you actually set up a custom audience of everyone who lands here because when I go run the next Facebook ad, let's say it's for the same exact campaign, I want to be able to exclude this group from ever seeing any more ads because I don't need them to see no more ads. They've already opted in. So that's one huge, huge reason why you need to be setting up custom audiences so you can start segmenting all these people that are landing on different pages within your funnel. Okay, so that's what i'm going to be doing right now so who knows how long this video is going to go on it's going to be more of a tutorial um and so i hope i don't lose you guys so let's go with i need to start and and a lot of them i already set up but i'm coming in here into the ads manager just to double check okay to double check and add more pages because i i did add more pages so i have to make sure that before i start running ads on this I got to make sure that these these groups, these audiences are are segmented and 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 set up correctly. So you come into your ads manager, um, and all you're going to do is click on these three lines, and you're going to come down here to all tools and click on audiences. Okay, so this right here is super powerful, and then I'll show you how when you go and set up the ad, how you can include this group or you can exclude this group. So I can either run ads to every single person you know that landed on my page let's go back to um this page right here so i can set up a custom audience of everyone who landed here and then i can also set up an audience for everyone who landed here on the thank you page right so let's do um let's do this so let we clicked on the three lines and then now we're over here in custom audiences so right here where it says create audience you can customize an you can create a custom you can customize an audience custom audience create one and you can create a lookalike audience okay and then and then there's your saved audiences so these are a few that I already set up and then um um and then I'm coming in here to to recheck them and and to update them and so I just thought I I'd, I'd show you guys how I'm doing it okay so this right here podcast guest okay this is a podcast that I'm going to be starting um, very very soon and this right here you can see people who visited specific web pages so it's everyone who visited my thank you page which is um, the podcast confirmed so this right here is the thank you page when someone opts in and then they go to a thank you page the podcast is confirmed that's that group of people so when I go run an ad I can always exclude this group from seeing the ad or if I want to run an ad to everyone who actually was a podcast guest, then I can also include this audience and run an ad directly to them. So this right here, you guys, is what it's all about is your custom audiences and making sure that your links and, and all this stuff is set up correctly. So this right here is course students. And this is, this is an example. This is why I have to redo this. I'm updating this one. So let's go into this one and let's hit edit. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come over here to my, and this is what I don't have set up yet. So let's, um, let's go with this link right here. And I'm going to even rename it probably. So let's name it. Let's go back and let's, um, Let's X this out and I'm gonna paste this link and I'm gonna go 180 days and I'm gonna name this one um, TSRE web class, web class, um, what can I name, web, web class viewers. So these are all people who actually viewed that web class. Okay. So I update it, hit the blue one, and then I hit done. Okay. So that's that. And then let's go to, okay, perfect. So I'm glad I set that up. I'm glad I set that one up. Okay. So web class viewers. So everyone who watched it, right. So they, they, they come to this page, for example, this is the opt-in page, right? This is the opt-in page and then they opt in and then they watch it. Now there's going to be, once they purchase, they're going to, there's going to be a thank you page. And then that's when I can simply create another, another, um, 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 audience around everyone who actually purchased. And so when I go run my next Facebook ad, I can exclude that group. Okay. That audience, super powerful and super, super important. So here's another custom audience that I need to update. Um, so let's take out this, let's take out that. And then this one is, let's go to my categories and let's go to stop clicking invite. And this one is going to be customers. Okay, so let's go with people who landed on this page and people who landed on that page. That is going to be who I exclude. So let's get this link. It's this link right here. We're gonna copy that and then we're gonna paste it in right here. And then we're gonna also grab this link. This is another part of it. Anyone who reaches these pages are actual customers, okay? So that's that right there and this is right here, customers. So let's update audience and done. Okay, so now let's go to clients. Let's hit edit and let's see what pages are here. Let's go ahead and take that one out. Let's delete or let's close that and let's go to clients. So anyone who landed on this page and what I'm going to do is actually edit this. Okay, so anyone who landed on this page is already a client. Okay, so I don't need them seeing any of my of my of my ads, right? They're already a client. So let's let's hit that, hit done. Okay, so we got that. And let me see if there's any other pages strategy call let's see should i include that um anyone who scheduled a call no i'm not going to include that one so let's go to the next one we got book customers who haven't purchased course so let's edit this one so we got all these different ones right here and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to delete all of them and I'm going to start this from scratch. Um, exclude. Okay, so let's leave that. And then what I'm going to do, who has who haven't purchased course. Okay, so this is going to be book customers who haven't purchased course. So let's go to, we're going to go to free book. And I'm gonna simply grab the link 
for the thank you page, which is this one right here. So I'm going to add this link. I'm going to add that link. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come over here to paid book. I'm going to add this link. And then the exclude. So these are people, these are who people who got my book, right? Cause that's how these are. Those are the two links. These two links up here, they got my book. So they're a book customer, but they haven't purchased the course. So that means they haven't, they haven't reached these links over here. So I'm excluding people who meet any of the following criteria. So you can include, and that's what we did at the top. Right, we included these two links, and then we excluded the actual um, 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 pages. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to delete these ones, delete these ones, and then I'm going to go to. Let's go to. This link. I'm going to paste that one there and then I'm going to come over to this link. And then I'm going to paste that one here. Okay. Um, and then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to I'm going to grab this link. We're going to exclude these ones too. And then I'm going to also grab this link. Okay, so let's let's put that there. Book customers who haven't um purchase course so they landed on these pages so that's how i know they're a book customer and they they haven't landed on these ones okay so any other pages i need to include on that one um that's all i'm going to do with that one so i'm going to update the audience okay and then i'm going to hit done and then what i'm going to do is this one right here, let's edit this. Okay, and we're gonna delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. And then what I'm gonna do, so these are visitors who have not purchased course. Okay, so let's go to that campaign or that category. Visitors who have not purchased course. So what they've done is they opted in and they landed on this page. They landed on that page. Um, or they may have landed on this page. but they haven't landed on these other ones. So they haven't landed on the full access. And they haven't landed on this other like ad access. Okay, so that's that. And then name your audience. So visitors who have not purchased course. Okay. <clears throat> so we hit that, we hit done. And then we got this next one, which is email steps one through 10 who have not purchased course. So let's go to, those are all correct. Those are all correct. 
Um, actually, those are all correct. I'm going to leave all those the same. Actually, this one, like add access, full access. So let's go back. It's this link right here. Put that in there. And then I'm going to grab this link down here. So they visited the other pages and they've never visited these ones. Okay. That's what that is. Include, exclude. Okay. So email steps one through 10 who have, who haven't purchased course. Okay. So it's actually, um, email steps one through five. Okay. So you can name it right there and then you just simply update the audience. So let me see here and same URLs. Register now. Okay, so I'm going to delete those ones. Okay, so who haven't purchased course? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got that. Let's update audience. And then we hit done. And then we're going to go to book customers. Make sure that that is updated. Edit. So they reached, thank you. They reached one time offer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to X all these out. And I'm going to start that one fresh. So these are tiers book customers. So let's go to actually, did I already do this? Let me, um, let's just do it. Let's do it. Here. Okay. So let's do actually, didn't I already do this? Let me see. Book customers. What was the first one I did? Um, Okay, book customers who haven't purchased course. Okay, so I already I already got that one actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm gonna delete that one. I'm gonna delete that one. So let's your ads that are using this audience. Okay, deleting will permanently remove it from it. That's fine. Delete audience. Okay, so because I I, dupli I had a duplicate, that was a duplicate. Okay, so visitors who have not got book. Okay, so this right here, let's update this. Let's edit this. Okay, so that's perfect. So those are the two links for my book. And then they haven't landed on any of these other pages. So let's delete these because a lot of those links are not correct. So let's, I'm going to. I'm going to put some new links in there. So, so they have not visited this page. So they have not visited that page. They have not visited, um, who have not got book. They have not visited. Actually, I'll leave that. Let's go to the paid book. They haven't got here. And that's all I need there. That's all I need there. So they landed here, right? This is an audience of people who landed on these two pages, but they haven't landed on these two. Okay. So these are visitors who have not purchased, who have not purchased book. Okay. 
I'll just put who have not got book. Who have not got book. Who have not got book. Okay, so update audience. And that's how you do that, you guys. That's how you do that. Now, I showed you a bunch of editing. Let me see if I can just simply um, create one from scratch. So we create audience, custom audience. Because I think I got everything I need right there. But let's see if I can just – actually, I'm glad I brought this up. Because what I just did is I did a website. I'm glad I brought this up. I just created a bunch of audiences around website links, okay? What you can also do is create a custom audience around your list. So if you have an email list, if you have a phone number list, if you have any list on a CSV file, you can simply upload it here and create a customer list and then hit everyone who has who, who, who is on that list, okay? Um, offline activity I don't mess with, app activity I don't mess with. Use Facebook sources. So right here, I can start creating audiences of people who watch X amount of my video. This is super, super powerful anyone who visits my facebook page i can create an audience around those people so this right here you guys is how you can run ads to very specific groups of people that are already engaging in your shit this is super super important so i go with websites a lot i i also customer list is another one that i'm going to be be implementing as well um i just haven't downloaded the my my list into a csv file that's what you want to do. So with Karcher, for example, I use Karcher for everything. Um, there's a 14-day trial in the description, profitwithkarcher.online. But I use this for my email communication. So as I'm building this list, because this whole book thing, this is just to build my list, right? As I start to build this list, I have this list inside of Kartra. What I have to do is download that list into a CSV file, and then I can upload it and create a customer file right here. So I can use a file that includes customer lifetime value, LTV. I can use a file that doesn't include, or I can import from MailChimp. So let's say I, I, I use a file that doesn't include. And so I come in here, and then I can simply, original data source, you're going to have to choose one of these. Did you get, get it, did you get it from customers or partners? Did you get the list directly from customers, or did you get it from partners? You know, so you want to make sure you specify that. And then all you're going to do is upload that file. So, so download it off of your CRM. In my case, it's Kartra. Download into a CSV file, and then you can upload that file right here, and then you just name that audience. Very, very simple, you guys, and very, very powerful. Um, and then again, you can go off of Instagram as well. So with Instagram, Instagram business file, right here, people who engaged with your, with your Instagram. So right here, you're going to choose your Instagram. There's my Instagram right there. Everyone who engaged with your business, this is super powerful. Um, now, I'm not going to do it on this account because this, this Instagram isn't the same for, for this ad account, um, but that's how you would do it. So anyone who engages with your, with, your, with your IG, you can create an audience and start targeting those people, running Facebook ads, running Instagram ads directly to them. Super powerful, you guys. Super, super powerful. Um, let's see if there's any other websites that i need to add in here let's see i got um 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 40 cash machine do i need to add actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna add these links as well so these links are going to be people who have not purchased they visited this but they have not purchased uh my course just yet so this right here is going to go into, actually, I'm going to edit this. So let me go back to, um, let's see, which one can it be? Um, let's go with, this is going to be for the like. So let's go into this one and let me edit this real quick so it's people actually you know what these are customers these are si sci customers this is the one i want sci visitors okay so let's go in here and i'm going to add this link in here that goes there so they visited these pages but they haven't 
visited these ones down here. They haven't visited these two. These two right here are, are, are if they had visited them, they'd be customers. But these are people who have not purchased a course, so they're not customers just yet. They visited these pages, but they haven't visited these down here. Okay, so these are visitors who have not purchased course. So again, when I go run another ad, I'm gonna target those people because they haven't purchased yet. That's super powerful, you guys. Super, super powerful. So let me see if I can start one from scratch, custom audience, um, website. Let's see if there's any other website that I can put in here for you guys. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. Um, 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 um. Let's go with, let's go with, I'll get this link and I'm gonna call this audience. Let's put this, so I'm gonna go 180 days, that's the max, and it'll tell you right here, max is 180 days. So um, I'm gonna go with people who visit specific pages. And this is the page right here. So this right here, this audience is going to be, um, it's going to be, what should I title it? It's going to be titled, um, 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 okay, so this is anyone who's scheduled an appointment with me. Anyone who's scheduled an appointment with me, um, and, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, so anyone who, 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 who scheduled an appointment and, and have not purchased my course. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, exclude people who visited these pages. So that's what you're doing. You're excluding people who visited these pages. So I'm, I'm hitting everyone who visited this. Our call is confirmed, but I'm going to exclude everyone who visited my actual purchase pages. So let's go to, I'm even going to exclude anyone who visited and got my book. So if you got, actually, you know what, let's, let's keep the book. Let's go to, let's go to stop clicking. So anyone who, so I'm going to exclude anyone who, per, who visited these pages. Cause if, if they visited these pages, that means they purchased. So if they already have my course, I don't need to be showing them that specific ad um, again. So let's close this out. Let's close this out. So that's that one. And then let me get this link right here. So I'm creating an audience of everyone who visited this page, but have not visited these pages. Okay. Um, who are not course students. Actually, let's see, scheduled appointments have not purchased course, purchased, damn, damn letters are too long. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna just take out, I don't need it, I don't need the, that part. Okay, so scheduled appointments, who have not purchased, damn it, that's still too long. Okay, haven't purchased course, bam. Okay, haven't purchased course. So they scheduled an appointment with me. Um, they haven't purchased the course. And let's go to, so that's that one, stop clicking invite. And then they also, haven't visited this page because anyone that visits this page has already bought from me. So I don't want to hit them either. I don't want to create that audience with them either. So let's, let's add that one there. And then I need to create that thank you page for the other one. Um, okay. I'll have to add that later. I'll have to make a note. I'll have to add that later add that thank you page later. Okay, so that's what, you, what I would do. So, you, so this one, scheduled appointments, haven't purchased course. Okay, so they visited that page, 
but they haven't visited these pages, okay? So what I'm going to do is create audience, and that's my audience, you guys. So now here's what we do, okay? So these are all these different audiences, okay? So take a look, all these different audiences right here, okay? So now as I go over here to the ads manager and I run an actual ad, here's how we can do it. So I come in here, hit the green button. We create an ad and depending on what category or what industry or what niche you're targeting, you'll have to choose this. Like if you're um, in, in, excuse me, if you're in any of these industries, housing, employment, credit, you'll have to choose this, choose one of the categories and then go from there. But that's not what I'm, I'm going to be doing. So let's just say we're, we're looking to drive traffic to a landing page and capture leads. So that would be a conversions ad, or you can do a traffic ad, but that's kind of what you would be doing. So if you're looking to capture leads, of course you can go with the lead generation and that's when Facebook provides the landing, the landing page and the lead form for you. But if you're not going that, that route and you're driving traffic to a landing page, it would be conversions or traffic. Okay. So let's just say we go with conversions and we hit continue. And now we're in the second step, which is the ad set. And here's how we customize, or not, not customize, but here's how we include and exclude our audience. So right here, the, because of the conversions, we're gonna, we can, we, well, we have to choose an actual event or a custom conversion. If we set up a custom conversion, then you'll see it in here. If you just set them all up under events, then you can choose that event right there. And then, what I'm gonna do is come down here and it's the audiences that I wanna show you. So this right here, you guys, is where the magic is. This is where it all happens. So now, normally what people do is they'll just kind of bypass this part right here and just come straight down to locations. But because we have all these different audiences, what we do now is we come over here and we just simply click and you'll see all your different audiences that you just created. So if I wanna run an ad straight to people, who are my customers but haven't purchased my course. I can click on that and boom, now I'm gonna target them. If I wanna go with um, web class viewers, those are people who haven't purchased a course, bam, I can go after them. If I wanna go after people who have scheduled an appointment with me but haven't purchased my course, I could target them. Um, if I can go with people who, um, who have not, Visitors who have not purchased my course, I'll go with that one. And then another one, emails who have not purchased course, go with that one. And then I can go with um, even my visitors, visitors who have not even got my book, I can go with that one. And then boom, you guys, there goes an audience. Now, there, there, it's, uh, it's saying unavailable over here because there hasn't been a ton of traffic because this is a whole new campaign, whole new ad account, whole new, whole new campaign. So I can simply target all of those groups and and not even worry about the rest of this so i don't even have to i don't even have to worry about none of this the locations the age the 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 gender the languages the detailed targeting i don't have to worry about any of that what i would do is exclude anyone who maybe is on my page i can exclude that i always end up doing that is exclude exclude my actual um page so anyone who likes my page they don't need to see my ad um that's fine and then just come down here and just set the ad like you normally would but it's those it's right here where you would simply include or exclude you know any of these people so i can i can so let's say for example let's x all these or actually let's let's leave those i can go exclude and i can exclude people who are my customers so so i can exclude those ones or i can exclude podcast guests or i can exclude anyone I can exclude, I can include and, and target all those and exclude all of my actual customers. People who, um, customers, exclude them, right? So just in case, they won't be targeted, right? So that's super powerful, you guys. That right there is how you effectively spend your Facebook ad money and you're not overlapping or, 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 or crossing, double crossing the same people who are already your customers or they've already you know, done business with you in somehow, some way. You don't wanna keep running ads to the same people um, who've already bought your shit. So 
that's how I set up custom audiences, you guys. Super, super basic and super, super important for Facebook advertising. All right, you guys, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.